everyone, Jennifer here. Welcome to The Daily Connoisseur, where we talk about etiquette and manners and the way things are going in society. And today we're going to be talking about no. Yes, that's right. We're going to be talking about saying no with poise because it is so hard to do. Some people call this the high quality no. Some people just, you know, say it's just being assertive but we're going to be discussing this today. I talk about saying no with poise in um, this book, Polish Your Poise with Madame Chic, as well as in At Home with Madame Chic. It's something that is so important that we all deal with on a regular basis. And I had this experience recently at Costco and I just wanted to share it with you because it reminded me so much of this. Okay, so basically my daughter and I, uh, my middle child, we were at Costco together and we were, you know, going down the aisles and she was in the cart and we were talking and a woman came up to me and she seemed very friendly, almost as if she knew me. And she started talking to me and she gave me a few compliments. I'm thinking, where is this going? <laughs> okay. So then she pulls out a brochure from a spa. And I've actually encountered many of these types of sales where you're just out in public and somebody comes up to you and offers you a spa package. So it was a spa package with, um, you know, haircuts and facial treatments and all that sort of thing and it was a couple of hundred dollars that you would space out over time. The bottom line is I'm not interested. I, I have a hairstylist that I'm happy with. I don't have time to go to the spa right now. <laughs> I'm a mother of three. I have a baby. I just don't have time and it's not on my high priority list. Also, I don't want to spend my money in that way right now. So there's just many personal reasons why I just don't want to do this. So this is something that I always do, okay? And I'm sure that many of you do this too. So I start off, I just wanna be polite, but decline and move on, right? So I say, thank you very much, um, but, and then I say no, and I qualify that no with an excuse. I say, you know, I, I, I don't think so. I really don't have time because, you know, I have a baby and I just don't have time. Well, then she says to me, you don't have time to cut your hair? <laughs> So I'm thinking, okay, she's not getting my hint here. I said, no, I have time to cut my hair. She's like, well, you have six months until this expires, so you can't get a facial in six months. So now I'm in a dialogue with her, defending myself, which is just crazy because I'm just trying to walk down the aisle with my daughter and just mind my own business, right? So now we're in this exchange where, yes, I'm trying to defend my my stance on saying no and I'm feeling defensive, I'm thinking this is not very poised at all. You know, I need to be more assertive here. And as I was thinking that, I thought, no, Jennifer, take your own advice and give this woman a high quality no. <laughs> so I said to her, no, thank you. I am not interested. And it was not in a rude way. And I just, you know, and she got it. At that point, when I decided to be assertive, she got it. She said, okay, thank you for your time. And she moved on. But when I had left that, um, those excuses in there, she was able to, you know, counter me and say, oh, really? You can't cut your hair in six months? You can't go to the spa in six months? So it just reminded me of the fact that as poised people, as people who are trying to cultivate poise, when we are asked something, to do something that we don't want to do, that we're not interested in, whether it's from a solicitor or from somebody who's asking for a time commitment or something, Rather than just hemming and hawing and giving a few excuses and trying not to hurt their feelings and everything, it's perfectly acceptable for you to just say, no, thank you, I'm not interested. And that's it, that's all you have to say. You don't owe anybody excuses. You really don't. I didn't need to tell the woman that all of my excuses, why well, I don't feel like spending my money in that way right now. I don't want to spend my time going to this salon and <laughs> getting all these treatments. She doesn't need to know all of that. She just needs to know in a polite way, no thank you, I'm not interested. I find it very difficult uh, sometimes when dealing with solicitors. We just, we've constantly have people coming to our door, constantly have people calling me on my phone, and I'm sure you're no different. It's just, you're bombarded with it. And I, it's so hard because at the same time, I know these people are working and they do need to make money. And at the same time, you just, don't want to be constantly have somebody asking, you know, trying to sell you something basically. So I do find that a very firm, high quality no is what is in order. And it's something that I'm practicing still <laughs> and something that I, I, you know, implore you if you're struggling with this, that you practice it as well. 
So I just wanted to do this short video to tell you about that experience and how it reminded me of how if we're trying to cultivate poise, we don't need to people please. We don't need to make excuses. We don't need things to just get defensive and ugly. It's just simple, rest assured, confident, high quality no is all that is required. Today I would love to know your thoughts on this subject. Do you struggle with giving a high quality no? Can you say no to people easily? Or, or are you like me and you're just giving strange excuses and babbling <laughs> and doing all sorts of things that just aren't working? How is it going for you? Let me know in the comments section below and your comment could be chosen as comment of the week on The Daily Connoisseur. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. We talk a lot about etiquette and societal changes and things like that here on The Daily Connoisseur. This is our little classic corner of the internet. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye.